Hello guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I thought that what we would do today would be what we talked about doing yesterday, and a couple of times a week, doing an episode or a segment where we just do candle workings. All we're doing here on this episode today is candle workings. Let me have a second, I'll be right back. So that is what we're here doing today. We're lighting candles for family members, and there's still not anybody here yet. Now, um, it doesn't take anything to um, be a member of the Taxidermy Witch family uh, except to be here and to make a comment and to ask. So honestly, if you guys need anything, you can ask me anytime. I plugged in my Patreon and my Etsy shop into the description, mm -hmm. so you can check that out if you like. I don't know, for whatever reason, this... Looks like it's stalling or behind. <clears throat> so waiting for family members to come on. Also, tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow on this channel um, is Scott Cunningham's birthday. Um, it is his actual birthday, so it'll be really good to... I am going to read from this tomorrow, period. Uh, I've gotten up the guts to read from it. Hey, Willow Witch, how are you? So nice to see you. The reason I can't read from this book is because every time I read from it, it makes me start crying. I thought maybe tomorrow I'd just go on for Scott Cunningham's birthday. Um, again, Scott Cunningham is the gentleman who writes this book, and, um, I don't know, 50% of the books I read to you guys or more are written by him. Hi, The Other Realm. Welcome to the chat. Um, if anybody needs a candle lit for any reason, that's why we're here today. I'm lighting candles for you guys. <clears throat> And I have uh, this book out just to show you guys how to add herbs to your simple candle workings so that we can kind of learn some stuff as we go along because yesterday I just kind of picked herbs without talking about how and why. Hi Justin, how are you? Hi Moonflower, welcome everybody. So Wild Witch was here, we lit a candle for him yesterday, he said his exam went great. Did you get your marks yet Mario? Do you know your score? So you guys, tomorrow is Scott Cunningham's birthday. I'm going to read from this channel gift. It's called Whispers of the Moon by Scott Cunningham. This is our guy, you know. This is our guy. So I I think I'll ask Alex to go out today and get a cake for Scotty's birthday. And, and we'll have a proper birthday for him. Hadrina, hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you made it. Yeah, hi Raven Song, welcome. So does anybody need a candle lit for any reason? Um, any reason at all. It doesn't have to be like something life you know altering it can be something small like I need to pass an exam <clears throat> and I don't mean to demean your issue Mario I'm just trying to say um, to some people they think that passing an exam is really minor and small but to me I, I know the the stresses that that can have hi cherry chapstick and Michelle no creations and Julia welcome everybody so good to see you guys Olivia, welcome. Just found me from Lady Grave Dancer. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm so glad. Um, it was so kind of her to mention me in one of her videos the other day. I was, I was, like, oh my goodness, that's so fantastic. Uh, Sherry Black D is here. Yes, would you please light a candle for my surgery Friday? Absolutely. Hope that all goes well. So, surgery on Friday. Let me get a white candle, <clears throat> because the black candles we have for banishing issues, right? Sherry Bug D doesn't, or do you? Because <laughs> I guess a surgery could be a removal of something. So Sherry Bug D, um, do you need to banish something, or do we need to just bring light into the situation? 
you tell me and I'll get the proper candle and then we'll get some herbs going and I'll tell you I'll show you guys with the book how we kind of get those herbs chosen and things like that try and make it a little bit um, educational as we go I'm not I'm not feeling myself today so I might and I didn't get enough sleep can you light a candle for your mom? Absolutely. So I'm going to stop. You guys keep typing in the chat what you need for candle workings and stay here with me. And everyone who's asked for something in a row, I'll get to. And my moderators need to do a really good job in making sure that I get to everybody who's asked for a candle. <clears throat> so first is Sherry Bug and then Willow Witch. Let me get a, let me get a pen. That one's too big. That's what she said. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I've been joining too many boy chats lately. Okay, <coughs> Sherry Bug D for Surgery Friday. D for Surgery Friday. And then next after that was Willow Witch. Please light a candle so I get this job for you and your children. Absolutely. Okay, so Willow Witch. <coughs> Please light a candle so I get this job. Candle for employment. And then we've got, so keep typing if you need a candle and I'm just gonna write them in a line of who's where and then we'll, we'll get to work. So Julia, do you, I'm guessing that you need a candle. Wait, hold on, let me see. <clears throat> Okay, I'm doing my best. Other, the other realm. For your mom, she's having trouble with her life. There are these people that won't leave. That's, that's all you need to say. That's perfect because I know that it's your mother and it's, uh, so it's not for you and it's something that, um, she needs to get these people away from her. Okay, so that's enough information. Thank you, the other realm. Mom needs people to get out of her life. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next one. Hi, Christina Miller, so nice to see you. The cherry chapstick candle for me, please. Someone stole your car. You need it found, absolutely. So, cherry chapstick. need to find. Okay, next. Foxy Crafty Fierce, hello and welcome. Congrats on your exam, Wild Witch. Absolutely. So happy for you guys and so thankful for you guys for putting your energy into that working. You need a candle, Jez, for friendship that has to end because it's unhealthy for you if possible. Okay, great, hon. Jez. Friendship. that needs to end in a healthy way, an unhealthy friendship, okay, got it, got it, I can read my own handwriting most of the time, you learn lots from me, Hadrina. Well, thank you, I learn lots from you guys too, because we put lots of our ideas together, and that's one of my favorite parts of interacting with everybody on this channel. And I know I don't get to every single comment, <clears throat> but um, I really do try. And I read every single comment in the comments um, after the video. I just found out that you have brain cancer. Oh my god, darling. Okay, so Christina Miller... Just diagnosed. I'm so, so sorry. But it's okay. Just remember that it is okay. And, um, I don't know how to explain it. I guess in my heart I believe it's all somehow part of the plan. And I always say that I would approach it naturally, you know, without chemotherapy. Um, but I, I do say you go to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. 
I'm just here to use herbs and send energy your way for your issues and and needs and and that's what we're here for. So, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, Christina. <clears throat> All of our love is with you right now, Christina. Sorry. Did I get yours, Hadrina? Because your son was talking to you. I didn't, Hadrina. Julia. I'm so confused. Mods, help me out on the Julia Horvath issue if she needs something and the Hadrina issue. Mods, please help me out. Hey, Erica. So nice to see you. Spirit Moon, hi, welcome. Alright, Moonflower says, I need a kidney transplant and I didn't know if I could get a candle. Yeah, okay, so, absolutely. Moonflower kidney transplant. Hey Tangerine, so nice to see you. I'm doing well. I'm I'm doing okay. I'm trying to get stuff done today. Okay, Hadrina says need money and healing for your foot. Okay, I got it, hon. Hadrina. Need money and healing for your foot. Hello, Madam Butterfly. I love you. Hi, Michelle. Can you... Michelle Cantrell says... <clears throat> and at some point I'm going to have to stop the list because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do ten. The first ten. And then if there's some after the first ten mods, I need you to please... Um, most of my mods are connected to me on Skype, but please tell me who didn't make the candle lighting, and I will light those candles personally after the video, so my mods will get me the rest of the list. Um, okay, so, Michelle, light you a candle. Your back has been hurting so bad. Absolutely. But for me, that's an easy one to teach you guys. So easy. All right, so I have room for two more. Oh, Christina, mm -hmm. I'm so happy that you've learned so much from me. Just enjoy the rest of your life as much as you can. I mean, every moment. I'm so glad you're spending some of those moments here with us. I think that's a really beautiful thing, you guys. Okay, ten candles. Uh, I think we're there and I got to the bottom of the chat. So, Sherry Bug D, then Willow Witch, then The Other Realm, then Cherry Chapstick, then Jez, then Christina Miller, then Moonflower, then Hadrina, then Michelle Cantrell. Okay, that's the list. Did you get the procedure for your friend Friday? I did not. So then Michelle Null no Creations. What's her procedure? If you don't mind sharing. So tell me <clears throat> if you can just a little bit about the procedure. And Madam Butterfly, I didn't see yours, but then that's the end of the list. So Madam Butterfly's last, and that's the cutoff. If anybody needs a candle lit, after that, put it in big bold so that my moderators can make me a list of who didn't get a candle lit. Then after the video's over, I'll take all of those names and I'll light a candle for you guys. You're not going to get your candle not lit, you know. I'm not to the point where I have that many subscribers. I can still light everybody a candle. Hey, Debbie. Hey, everybody. Okay, so, shoot. Michelle Noel Creation. She's having blocks on her back. Wait. She's having blocks on her back? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> like back surgery? 
And then, Madam Butterfly, what is yours? And also, I... Th Madam Butterfly, tell me what you need your candle for. I'll say the list one more time and then we'll get started. Because this is going to be a long one. We brought ten candles and ten issues. Oh no, Jez, you're fine. You're no, no, no. Nobody's giving up for somebody else. We're this is the list, and this is how it is. This is what my spirit guides, you know, our spirit guides have us do. So, shots for blocking pain on our spine. Oh, okay. Thank you, Madam Butterfly. I need Madam Butterfly's issue. Somebody help me so we can proceed. We have loads of mods. What's up? What does Madam Butterfly need? I'm going to the hospital to have a scan on the lump in your left breast tomorrow morning. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so tomorrow morning. Thank you. Scan on left breast. We'll use a poppet. We'll use something like this. And we'll put the oils on the right spot. So right left. On the left breast, you know. I'm not being funny and I'm just being honest. Like, you can do it with this, you can do it with. This, and you could do it just on the left breast area. This is, you know, you can use all these different types of things. <clears throat> so, even though lighting candles usually isn't a fun usually isn't a fun time we're gonna make it enjoyable and loving and a great place to be so again you guys um i'm gonna say my list i'm gonna write it with numbers so that i can say okay so number one is sherry of d number two is willow witch number three is the other realm <coughs> number four is cherry chapstick number five is jez Number six is Christina Miller. Number seven is Moonflower. Number eight is Hadrina. Number nine is Michelle Cantrell. Number 10 is Michelle No Creations. And then number 11 is Madden Butterfly. So we're at 11. So, um, and again, you guys, uh, I don't have a dollar sign at the bottom of my chat. I don't care to do it that way. But I did attach my Patreon, which is really fun to read, um, in my description. And it's got pictures of my taxidermy, and I made it all themed. Uh, and then also um, my Etsy shop, you know. But I, I don't, you know, charge anything for these workings. But however, if you want to donate, the description is there. I'm excited about this. This will be fun, you guys. Okay, <clears throat> so let me take a minute and uh, get set up. I'm not going to be able to look at the chat too very much, but if you really want me to see something, or if you need a candle lit and you need to be on my list for after the video, just put it in bold so my moderators can see it. Who's going to be the mod that takes the list? I need somebody that is, has a little time. Has anyone got a little time? <clears throat> and we are going to add in all kinds of fun things for uh, from the studio and, and from my shelf and all that. So let's see. Okay, great, Jezebel. You're just like me. We're just like at home taking care of our magic stuff you know it's fantastic so not feeling my hair today 
Hey, Shauna, we just took a big list of names, kind of like Tangerine Layla does with her readings, and then we closed it off at 11. But we're lighting candles for family members like we talked about yesterday on the channel. And then as we do it, I'm going to kind of teach you guys with this book how to, like, where I get the basis of my thought for the herbs that I add to the little candle workings. So we're going to put energy for 11 of our friends that need issues, all the way from someone was diagnosed with brain cancer, one of our family members, um, and uh, someone had their car stolen and they need to find it. I mean, we have all of these different points. Hold on a minute. Tangerine. Julia for her son with autism. He needs speech therapy. Thank you, Tangerine Layla. I can actually read that. Okay, so we'll do 12 candles. Julia will be 12. Julia, her son with autism. He needs speech therapy. Okay. Julia. Son mm -hmm. with autism. Needs speech therapy. Okay. That's... Okay, great. Thank you, Tangerine. I really appreciate that. From Hangouts, I can actually look at that while we're in the chat, so that's nice. Hey, Ratchet Witch! So nice to see you! Okay, well, Ratchet Witch, push a little energy our way for all of our friends that need a little work that we're going to do, and we'll see you soon. Nice to, for you to drop by. Okay, so, um, I've cleansed my altar table with Florida water. Just a little spray of it, kind of move my stuff around. Um, <clears throat> Justin doesn't want to leave uh, so he's still here and I don't quite know how I feel about that because I've been wanting to bring other things up onto my working altar and, and it's just like not wanted at the moment so that's okay I mean other things like other pieces of taxidermy or bones and stuff and uh, because I have that human bone it's not seeming to want any animal bones so we'll just go with the flow so Sherry Bug D for surgery on Friday. All right, so we'll get a white candle. Well, actually, Sherry Bug D, are you here? Are you here in the chat, Sherry Bug D? I, if you were willing to tell me what the surgery's for, um, that would be helpful, but if not, no worries. Yeah, if not, no worries, um, but if you're willing to tell me what it's for, it can be helpful, so. I've got this wicked box of, it was all black candles, but now I've mixed it with black and white, um, that I got as a donation to the channel from Tess Moore. Tess, I'm so thankful, because, like, black tea lights, that's so awesome for just, like, a little two-hour working. These burned for two and a half hours yesterday, the candles, and when I had the four lit, they were just, like, whoosh, the energy was moving in here, so it was good. All right. Uh, did we get an answer from Sherry Bug D? You have a torn bicep muscle that needs repaired. Perfect. Torn bicep. So I have all my information that I need from Sherry Bug until I get uh, to the next person who is Willow Witch. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to look at comments. So since she has a torn bicep that needs repaired, it's not like she's um, having a surgery to remove a tumor or to remove a, a growth or to remove something. So if it was going to be a removing surgery, I would have used the black candle to banish something. Or if it was like a cancerous surgery or something like that, I would use a black candle. But it's not. It's a surgery to repair her bicep muscle. This is deltoid. Biceps are under, um, what, biceps brachii, triceps. She's a massage therapist for years and years. Um, and biceps are not not easy to repair. I worked with a lot of people who... I'm going to put Florida water all over the little candle. I worked with a lot of people who, when I did massage in chiropractic offices, who, oh, they had surgery 
and felt worse after the surgery. Same with back surgeries. It was so sad. Like, sometimes when things tear, it's just causes other issues and other problems. So after you put Florida water on something, you really need to wait for it to dry, like blow it off, because it's thick alcohol. Little white candle, it's all cleansed all over. You guys know I open it up and cleanse the inside and the outside, all of that. <clears throat> I got the pinup deck going. I made I'm enough for three decks. The round one is going to be really fantastic. So excited for those. <laughs> surgery. What kind of herbs would we think of for surgery? Well, <clears throat> I do think we could use some doll parts, though. This is from a porcelain doll. Here's the lower part of the arm, like the forearm. Sherry Bug D is having work done not down here, but up here. And this is the outside of the shoulder. So here's her deltoid, here's her bicep. So I'm going to rub one of my oils on her bicep muscle area of this porcelain doll. I know it looks like nothing right now, but when you put these two together you can see what it is. Okay. So, X marks the spot, kind of right in there. If you didn't have doll parts to work with, and you were going to go out of this book, again, you guys remember, Scott Cunningham birthday party tomorrow on my channel. It's his birthday tomorrow. <clears throat> if I was going to look in the magical intentions area of this book, which, you, again, page 276 to page 284, I feel like that's all you need to be confident about any working. Um, magical intentions. Let me look through them and tell you. You know, um, if she was really scared about it, there's, like, if she was really nervous for her surgery, which she didn't mention in her thing, um, you could use herbs for courage to attain, which are under the magical intentions in here. Um, if it was a cancerous type of surgery you could use exorcism herbs and there's a big long list of these healing to promote herbs that's perfect okay so herbs to promote healing there's a list that continues on to the next page really long so let's find some herbs to promote healing I'll just start reading them out and tell you the ones that I've got Allspice, Angelica, Apple, Lemon Balm. These are all herbs to promote healing that I could choose to put in my candle, okay? Um, bay, Barley, Blackberry. These are just the ones I have. Cedar, Cinnamon, Eucalyptus, Flax, Garlic, one. <coughs> Ginseng, hemp, henna, hops, ivy. It's a good one actually. Ivy's going to be the best one I think. She has a torn bicep, right? Ivy's good to promote healing and ivy's an amazing uh, one for binding and it's torn so they're doing a surgery to bind it I would assume. So I'm going to use ivy for sure. But let me continue listing the ones that I have that we could have used. Lime, mint, mugwort. I may use a little mugwort as well. Mugwort and ivy. Let's do that. Uh, what else could I have used? Pine, plantain, potato, rose, rosemary, rue, saffron, thistle, tobacco, Violet, Vervain, Willow. So uh, I'm going to use, so again, this is in this book. 
Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs, and then you go to page 276 where it says all the magical intentions, and then you pick the one that, like, sounds best for your working, you know? Gossip to halt, happiness to promote, healing to promote, fidelity, exorcism, health to maintain, legal matters, locks to open, hunting to aid, image magic, these are just some of them, love divinations, this book is all you need. I mean, for me. For me. Gave me so much confidence early on in my developing of my craft, so that's why I'm just always spouting it to you guys. You know, I'm not I'm not promoted to talk about it. I would love to meet his family members, but anyway. Alright, so we are going to use, and what kind of oil are we going to put on this? We've got death oil, psychic oil, astral oil, love oil, road opening oil. Well, that could also work too. Hexing oil, war oil, what else? Amethyst oil, anti negativity oil. I'm thinking anti negativity oil because right now there's a lot of like chaos and negativity going on in the area. It's torn. So let's use anti negativity oil. Which also smells so good, and I saw it on my Etsy shop, it's like a unisex, I can't call it a cologne, because it doesn't last really long, unless you put on a lot, which I do. So I'm just going to apply that by hand to the bicep area of the doll limb which again look see this mm. just a miniature version so here's the bicep area on the doll I'm gonna rub my anti-negativity oil all over the bicep area of the doll and as I'm rubbing in I'm putting in my intent for Sherry Bug D, okay? So I can do this while the candle's lit and kind of just keep recharging that candle and just re-putting my intent in next to the candle with the anti-negativity oil. This is just a way to step it up. Like, we're going to add mugwort and ivy as well to um, add healing and bind. The ivy will bind and she's having a surgery to bind. So that's why we're doing that. Again, you guys, this video is going to take a while, but uh, we're going to get this done for everybody, and I'm really excited to show you guys just kind of like how I work and what I do. I'm really sorry I can't say hello to everybody in the chat. I've got so much going on. If you guys need to be on a list for um, me to do uh, something for you after this 12th, after I shut down the episode, if you need to be on a list, just tell the moderators. The ones in the chat that have the blue name. Okay. Alright. So, now I'm going to get Ivy and Mugwort, so that's just going to take me a second. I'll be right back after these messages. I'll be right back. Ivy and Mugwort. Ivy and Mugwort. So I got the mugwort. The mugwort I'm choosing to use for this, since it's a surgery and not like a small money issue, but it's an actual surgery. I'm going to use the mugwort from my 2017 garden that has been in so many full moons. It used to be a giant jar, but now it's in a tiny jar. I only have a little bit left, but Sherry Bug, I want to add this to yours. If you guys need mugwort bundles, I have so many of them. I have about five or six more than this, and um, my Etsy shop's in the description, so if you would like some mugwort that I grew in my garden in 2019, 
just let me know. I've got small ones, big ones, all sizes. Okay, so let me go get that ivy. And then we'll add those to the candle and get lit. We'll get lit. Another thing I'm adding, I know, I like you don't have to add this much, you guys. All you really need, or I would say the most that you could do, or the least you could do, the least you could do is just get a white candle and your energy and put it together and just focus, yeah? If that's all you had, just do that. But instead, I'm adding all these things because I have so much stuff, you know? Um, so here's the ivy I've harvested this year at the horse barn which is pretty cool. So I'll add some of that little, just a tiny crumble of the herb in the candle. Okay, just a tiny crumble. And then also I put a bunch of the herbs around. Another one that I'm adding is, are these, we grow star fruit. Now star fruit grow in the shape of a pentagram. And so I'm going to put these around the base of the candle for protection during her surgery. Okay, because you, I mean, honestly, our friend Sherry Bug is not going to pass away in this surgery, but they tell you before surgery, they make you sign something that says like, you know, one in a hundred thousand people die from surgery, any kind of surgery, and then it freaks you out. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, what is, what's happening? Um, so that's that. I think we'll start lighting these candles over here today. Yeah. Weird. Alex's music is tripping me out. <laughs> so I'm laying down these starfruit leaves. They're so beautiful from the plants of starfruit that we grow. Or that Alex grows. Oh. So I'm just doing like a little ring in front of it. And I'll put the candle down beside it. I wish you guys were closer. Should I get you guys in a really super close up shot? Or should we stay at this shot? Someone tell me. Should we get super close up or should we stay at this shot? Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of mugwort and a little bit of ivy. I'm just going to take one tiny ivy leaf and then I'm going to break off... It, the tip's already broken, so I'll just break off a part of the tip because you don't want to put too much herbs into a little tiny candle. Stay for now. Okay, got it. Um, so the rest of the big part of the ivy I'm going to set next to the candle as well. The ivy is for binding and also for um, to maintain health. And she's having a big bicep reconnection surgery. First on the list, that's got to be good. <laughs> so again, this has been in so many full moonlights. I'm just taking a little bit of it. To me, it's really powerful. This mugwort from my 2017 garden. And that's the first growth of that plant. She's come up three years now in a row. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in the candle. Keep the herbs as far away from the wick as possible, and technically you should always stay with the candle. So I've got a little ivy and a little mugwort, like two little pieces of each. And then this is surrounded by starfruit leaves and ivy. Okay. We're getting ready to light. We've also got this bicep area that I'm going to rub with the anti-negativity oil 
as I light this candle, yeah? Okay. Okay. Ready, everybody? This is for Sherry Bug Surgery. Tomorrow. Alright, let's all focus our energy for her on this candle here, on this light together. So mode it be. So I've got this doll part here that I'll be working with later on um, after the candle goes out too, you know, and I'll, and I'll just just put some more intention into that bicep area. And, um, you know, as we're closing our eyes for our friends, we're really trying to visualize them healing um, and their needs and uh, just our bright light going toward them, just a little bit of it. As much as we're willing to share, you know. If you've got loads today, push as much as you can. If you've not got much, just watch and learn, you know. And, and just close your eyes and think of our friend. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, so Sherry Bug, we've, we've got you going, darling. And thank you so much for being the first person on the very first, like, dedicated segment of just candle lighting for friends. Right? Right? Sherry Bug, you're welcome. Felt so much energy, it almost brought you to tears. Amazing. Well, that's super fantastic. I can't, I hate that word that I say. Why do I even say that? Super fantastic. I don't know where I learned it. It bothers me <laughs> that I say it. All right, Willow Witch is next. Uh, she's candle number two, and she needs a candle for employment so that she can um, take care of herself and her children. And she's a personal friend of mine. Um, I've sent some things over to her. She was the first one to test out all my chicken's feet with all the different um, oils on each of the different chicken's feet. So one was dipped and anointed in my war oil, one was in the love oil, one was in the... So these chicken's feet are just like deeply anointed in these oils. So cool. All right. So... Let's go to, um, let's see, for employment, we definitely want to do a white candle. We're not, we're not banishing anything, so we don't need a black candle. So a white candle for employment, clean it off with some Florida water. right now. Just a minute, little witch.
handle for employment. This is going to be easy to find in this book. Remember guys to join me tomorrow for Scott Cunningham's birthday. Right after this I need to talk my husband, my Alex, into going in to get me a cake for Scotty's birthday. Because I don't want to make one because all, we, we, all we've got is box cakes. So make sure to join us tomorrow for Scott Cunningham's birthday. And I'm going to read from this book. It's just going to be hard because even when I read from it, when I'm not on camera, I start like bawling. So, I mean, if I cry, I cry. It's just what it is. But I want to honor him completely, completely and fully tomorrow. I mean, that sounds so dumb, but I'm, I'm just being honest. I completely and fully appreciate him every day. And he shows up to me in my dreams. And I have a little altar for him. Uh, okay, so employment herbs... Two seventy six. Where are you? All right, employment. This candle's for Willow Witch. We're still focusing our energy back here for Sherry Bug D. Get what they say. employment. I think. Yeah, employment to attain. All right. There's only three herbs in Scotty's for employment to attain. And I don't have any of them, so we're going to have to get creative, and that'll be good. The three for employment are Devil's Shoestring, Lucky Hand, and Pecan. Oh, I have a Pecan. I thought it said something else. I've got Pecans. Yeah. I've got Pecans. Yeah. Pecans and road opener oil, all right? That's what we're doing. I know we use road opener loads, but loads of us need roads open. So that is what I'm going to do for you, Willow Witch. And since you added in for your children, I'm going to add in some lovely rose petals as well. So let me go grab just a hint of rose petal. idea. Instead of rose petal, let's keep this pink quartz that I've charged up next to it for your um, love and, and focus and everything for your children. So we're going to, I'm just get setting down the pink rose quartz. If you guys don't have rose quartz and you wanted to use a stone, remember that like Clear quartz is an uber all-purpose stone. You can use it for any old reason, any old time. And you can keep these in your window to keep them charged up in the moonlight. Um, you can charge them with... I mean, I'm not the best at charging stones. I use moonlight or the freezer for my amethyst if it's in a pinch. And, like, I think you can charge with selenite or cleanse with selenite because it's just a regular, like, cleansing stone. But again, you guys, stones isn't my main... Focus. What is that road opener oil? Yes. Hey, Aaron. What do you got? Three more passion fruit flowers. Oh, thank you. There's a pile of them. Did you find it? Uh, no, but for whatever reason, they're still not making fruit. So. Let me try. Oh, well, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. All right. So the road opener oil I have here, and it's still kind of shooken up from yesterday. But there you go. You can see the key inside of it, right? The glimmer of that key. All right. So we're going to shake it up. You do moonlight too? Yeah, awesome. I just always feel like that does the best job, you know? And I take loads of my stuff into the moonlight. I've taken my dolls out there, my taxidermy out there, my chicken's feet out there. I do this interesting ritual when I draw up from this oil. I draw up from the key. I make this touch the top of the key and draw up from it. So I'm going to add the road opener oil on the outside, however spirit wants me to. And 
and again, you don't want to put too much oil and flood the candle. Just a little. Goes a long way. This is a big, big, big batch of road opener oil, you know. This is enough for me to share with friends in my little... What do you call them? I can't reach them. But I have little, like, half ounce bottles with droppers that you can buy different oils from me and stuff. So there's my road opener oil. And uh, we're going to get some pecan. So I've got just a teeny tiny pecan. I should not put that in the candle because A, I've put them in candles before and then they catch on fire and then they could burn because the nuts, you know, have the dry skin and they catch on fire. So I'm just going to put a tiny piece of it in there, like crumble it up and kind of, I'll show you what it looks like, and then put the big chunk beside it with the rose quartz. But yeah, who would have thought pecans, you know, pecans for uh, employment to attain. So either pecans, devil's shoestring, or lucky hand. So the candle has got little pecan chips and road opener oil. And then beside it, we're going to have this pecan chunk, as well as this lovely little rose quartz, okay? And these are just ways that you can amp up simple candle workings, right? Add stones or herbs next to them. I've got 12, so I'm going to have to get creative with space. So I've got those two things kind of set right in front of it. And I'm going to get ready to light it from my altar candle. And this is where we put our energy together and we focus and we think of Willow Witch. This candle is for her to gain employment to take care of her lovely children. Okay, I've seen pick. I've seen them when I video chatted with her. They're so lovely. They look like lovely children. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey girl, if you get loads of interviews, don't take the first one. I don't think you'll be happy at the first one. I think you need to take, like, get as many interviews as you can. And, like, it's more like you choose. Because you're going to get a couple of job offers. But you should really go for as many as you can. And then you choose which one fits you best don't just pick the first one that is offered to you that's what i was getting from my guides so okay um let's move along mm -hmm. thank you everybody for putting um your thoughts toward uh because i just feel like if you choose the first one that you're gonna 
get offered, you're going to be miserable. Like, and, and you'll stay with it for a while because it's money, but it, you'll be miserable. So you really try to choose which one is going to suit. Just but try to go, go for as many as you can. Like, And even ones you think might not be for you, but like you could do, go for those ones too because you might find happiness in the strangest place. Okay, so right now we're on to the other realm. I hope you're still here, the other realm. Your mom needs people to get... Um, there's people that are coming into other realms mom's life um, and they and so this one we're going to use a, a banishing candle because she needs to get these people out of her life it's becoming like unhealthy from what I'm from what I'm understanding Kristen says I agree that just happened to me are you talking about the job thing and the other realm says they live with you. Okay, that's good to know. Is it somebody that's just kind of like living with you that doesn't need to be there and they're kind of mooching or something? I don't know a better word for that because it's probably family or loved one. I don't know. Um, you don't have to tell me too much. I mean, even if you just said, hi, my name is so-and-so, please put energy my way, I would do that for you, you know. But the more we know about a situation, the more we can amp it up and add to it and make it um, something more. Okay, gotcha. Knowing that they live with you, that's that's good enough for me. So when I just think about it, I mean, you can pick herbs off of intuition like I was doing yesterday, and we were getting quite creative, and that was fun. Um, I'm looking through this book starting at page 276 and choosing what herbs are going to be best and then I'm going to tell you why because it's not going to say magical intentions herbs to get people out of the house but you got to get creative when you look at these um, subcategories oh my god the music in there is horrible it's like 80s love music I mean I like a little Phil Collins but all right, let's cleanse the candle first off. We could do purification herbs, you know, um, but I really think we should just do exorcism herbs to, not to exercise them, or, I mean, when people are new in witchcraft and they hear exercising herbs, or exorcism herbs, <coughs> don't, don't think of the exorcist, <coughs> but you could think of that in a more of a beautiful way, like, <laughs> The, you know, getting rid of something so that you can uh, have a better, tr a better path, a better travel, a better life. Okay, so we're doing a black banishing candle, and I mean, you tell me, do you think that protection herbs are what they need? Do they need protection from these people that they're living with, or just to banish them and get them the heck out, you know, no matter what? Wishes to manifest? If Well, here's the thing. Here are some herbs for wishes to manifest. Bamboo, beech, buckthorn. Oh, I'll say the ones I've got. Bamboo, dandelion, dogwood, ginseng, pomegranate, sage, sandalwood, violet, and walnut. Okay, so I've got all those things, more than half of the wishes to manifest. I'm sure that your mother wishes they were gone. Let's go with the Wishes to Manifest herbs, the black banishing candle to get them to go away and to banish them from the house, and then the oil we'll use will be anti-negativity oil, absolutely. All right. And a piece of black 
um, a piece of black tourmaline. A chunk of black tourmaline for anti-negativity to have something to sit next to it. And then the herbs, we'll pick them in a minute. We're picking wishes to manifest herbs. <coughs> what am I going to get? Dogwood. Let's do dogwood. That's a new one to my cabinet. And we could do dogwood and, I don't know, chunk of pomegranate. Oh, my hands are so full. I found other things in there that will work for this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I've got this big chunk of black tourmaline. It's so gorgeous. Um, it weighs 13 or 14 pounds. And every time you set it down, it lets off a little bit. And actually, I'm playing with it right now. It's letting off a little bit. That must be for the working. Okay. So if it's giving you a letting when you're holding it, and I just call things lettings, like things that fall off of the trees or the stones, I refer to that as a letting. So the little chunks I'm going to sprinkle in there that came off, but this is my black tourmaline that I work with a lot. Um, it is one of my favorite, like, lap stones to meditate with, or stones to hold in one hand and transfer some energy. It's amazing. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be putting a, a little chunk of that into the candle, which you probably won't be able to see because it's a black candle. But this little chunk that fell off, I cleanse and work with, or, you know used for little candle workings. Those, so this is just a borrow, but the chunks, they will go and burn into the candle and be forever a part of your working. And then I dispose of these workings in the appropriate way. I also meditate. <laughs> Sorry for the madness. So the other realm, while I was getting the dogwood, I also found the bamboo. So I'm just going to take some little bitty pieces off of the end of the bamboo. Scared the crap out of you. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> break some little chunks of this bamboo and put it into the candle, which is nice because you'll be able to see it too. And then I'm going to put a little anti-negativity oil in there. Here's my dogwood leaves, <clears throat> and here are my dogwood flowers, and the flowers have a little bit of the wood attached to them as well. I got a different, like some white dogwood and then some pink dogwood. So this is a new item to my working, so I'm excited to work with it. There'll be a lot to this, so I'm really um, 
feeling this working, my hands are bringing me to a lot of different things to apply to that. So that's great. Let's shake this. Just enough to take just what's on top of the... All these chunks are, oh my gosh, frankincense and myrrh and dragon's blood. And <clears throat> this is one of my favorite perfumes that I make. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that onto the candle from my finger. And give you an up close look at the candle. So we've got a chunk of tourmaline, which you can see there. Some bamboo. And then the flowers and the leaves I'm going to put beside the candle. Not close enough that the flame will get to it, but just beside the candle. And then I've also got this chunk of black tourmaline that I'm going to, that's been charged that I'm going to use next to the candle as well. And it's like totally a mini version of this. It even has a white um, piece of whatever gross this is on it as well. <laughs> okay, so we'll set that up. I usually put the black ones separate. It's nothing to anyone. It's just that I feel like the banishing ones could, should kind of be separate than the development ones or other ones. I don't know what to call them. All right, so let's do the dogwood. Take a little leaf of the dog one. You want to smell the gunny? No. Uh, that was a petal of the dog one. And then I'll take a leaf of the dog one. Just a little one. The leaves smell better than the petals. It's not a very fragrant flower when it's dried in my opinion. At the end of this video, we'll get some up-close looks at these candles, um, so you can see them. But I'm trying to show you the best that I can as we go along. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we're ready to light that one. So this is for the other realm. Mom needs to get people out of her life that are currently living in the house with Mom. And it's not healthy. So that's what we're lighting this candle for here together, all of us, okay? Up next is cherry chapstick. Here we go.
feels to me like that situation's been going on for quite some time. Like, these people are not getting the message to go. So, hopefully that energy that we sent, they're going to get some kind of... I was picturing them and I was envisioning them finally getting the message that they should go. Like, intuitively, just knowing, like, it's been enough, you know. So, I hope that that helped. <clears throat> Hey, Jack Jolie, you're welcome near the other realm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, other realm says yes, they've very much outworn their welcome. That that took a lot longer if it and so would it be, absolutely. Yeah, it needs some cord cutting too, is my feeling, Jez says. It was just Yeah, that one was that one was intense. All right, so now we're on to Cherry Chip Chapstick, who had her car stolen and she needs it found. <clears throat> Absolutely, my love. Absolutely, I need more white tea lights. Cause I want to keep doing these episodes. You know, these are um, to me feeling really great. I don't know how they're feeling to y'all was intense, right? <clears throat> what are we going to do for a stolen car? What are we going to do? Do you guys have any ideas? I mean, what would you guys do for a stolen car? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and if you've ever done workings like this and what you would do in the comments uh, or in the chat. It, the comments as well, after this video is over as well. If you have any any um, advice on any of these workings and you know what you do, and, and I would just love to know. <clears throat> we would love to know. We put our minds together. That's what this family is about. It's just not all what I say. I, I don't want anyone to ever think that what me or anybody else is the end all say all because it's just so not that's not what being a witch is about hey olivia how are you nice to see you all right here we go there's oh there's herbs for theft i remember that let me tell you something here is the curse of alcohol, and I'm, you know, still dealing with alcohol and my love-hate relationship with it. Poppets in the shape of objects? That's a great idea! Like a little toy car that maybe was the same color car as yours that you got in the grocery store at the end of the grocery line. There's all those little toy cars or wherever, the dollar store. And you just frickin' made some, did some attracting herbs to attract it back to you. But let me tell you a story of why I brought up alcohol. <clears throat> Hold on, the other realm says me and my mom are going to the beach. All right, hon, I, all of our love is with you. Thank you for staying until your candle was lit. Appreciate that. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the evil of alcohol, okay? In my, like, whole 20s. I can't even just say it was my early 20s. But, you know, I started drinking at a younger than 21 age and you have to be 21 to drink here and so by the time I was 21 I was already good at it and I would just drink so much liquor and it was just so disheartening because you become somebody else when you drink that much you know you're not yourself anyway over 10 times over 10 times in my 20s I parked my car somewhere and couldn't find it and sometimes I couldn't find it for a week and, you know, it had been towed or whatever. <laughs> All because of alcohol, you know. And that's insane. So, there's that. Alcohol is terrible. Losing your car stinks. Especially when you lose it and you just can't find it. So, the theft in here is theft to prevent. So, these would be good herbs to prevent theft, which is not the case. So, we'll move on. But I want to say the herbs to prevent theft are aspen. Caraway, cumin, garlic, juniper, vetiver. 
So you could use those and put them in a sachet or a little like amulet uh, chicken's foot holding the herbs in a little bottle in your car to prevent a theft in the future. Yeah, have fun at the beach. And really envision those folks just getting the picture themselves, you know. So, I mean, we could use herbs for wishes to manifest, but I want to try and get something a little more... Now, there's herbs to raise wind. Meaning, like, to get stuff done, yeah? So, let's see. What else do we have? Get your stolen car back. Success to attain. So you could use those herbs for attaining success and getting your stolen car back. So let's use those. So the herbs are lemon balm, cinnamon, clover. These are just the ones I have. Ginger. And there's also three that I don't have. Rowan, wahoo, and winter bark. So I can go get some... Hmm, what do I use? I'm going to take the book in the other room and figure it out. So it's just going to take me a minute to get set up for this candle here um, for cherry chapstick. We are going to use a white candle. We've got that set up and cleansed with Florida water. We're going to add herbs and the oil we're going to add... Well... Cherry chapstick, are you here? If you're not, I'll just choose an oil for you, but I have a couple ideas. Is Cherry Chapstick here? Hey, Christina! Love you! Well, she's not here, that's okay. I'm gonna just pick for her. I, like, can't decide. Should I use war oil or black witch's salt? You know, for this car theft. Is Cherry here? Oh yeah, we could use what color her car is. That's a great idea. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Alright. She's here? Okay. Where is she? Cherry Chapstick, say something to me. Do you want Black Witch's Salt or War Oil? Here's my war oil. It's got a little toy soldier in there holding up a, a gun. Can you see that? And these big lipped bottles are awesome from like Hobby Lobby because you can actually get big things in there. Cherry Chapstick says both. Excellent. I was going to say both too. Okay, great. So we do both. We do war oil, black salt, and then I'm going to go grab some herbs. I have to put these herbs back so I don't like create a big mess um, and I got to stay organized. So you guys just give me a few minutes. Uh, enjoy the chat and we're going to get... Black Witch's Salt, other herbs, put these back. Okay, we're on it. We're on it. On it, mate! Woo -woo. Mm, I thought of a good one. <clears throat> Yikes. 
the moon is sun. Oh, I got cinnamon. I was looking for ginger. All right, fine. Well, no biggie. Okay, <clears throat> thanks for staying. Here we are. We've got a lot of things that I want to add to this. So, <coughs> again, we're working on Cherry Chapstick's candle for her stolen car that she needs to find. We've got war oil. We've got herbs to attain success, and that is because in this book, there are no herbs for stolen cars, so you have to look at the magical intentions and get creative because, you know, you can use a lot of these different ones. You just have to put your focus and intention toward it. So under success to attain, there was lemon balm. Oh, I'm also using black salt that I make. It's really potent. It's been in a lot of uh, full moons as well. So the first... <clears throat> herb under success to attain is lemon balm. Here's some that we grew. It's really nice. Bright green, even after a year. Um, cinnamon. I caught it. Where did I put it? Here it is. I'm using just an organic cinnamon powder. Um, clover. I've got some organic red clover. I've done a video on clover. You should check it out. I've also done a video on lemon balm. Uh, ginger and Hydron the Conqueror I have, but I decided not to use. And then the other ones are Rowan, Wahoo, and Winter Spark, which I don't have. 
I have decided to use some other ones, however. <clears throat> I'm going to use a monkey, monkey puzzle tree uh, leaf or branch or whatever you want to say. Uh, they're really, really, really sharp. And I just want to throw a little bit of um, sharpness at the person who stole her car. And that's what the black salt is for and the war oil. <clears throat> and then also... We had the ivy out, but I think the ivy is a really good idea because ivy is binding, and we want to bind Cherry Chapstick back to her vehicle. Okay, so I also wanted to throw ivy in there. So let me dress this candle, and then I'll tell you how I did it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I've already cleansed the white tea light with Florida water. I'm putting my intention into this monkey puzzle tree spike for it to send <laughs> uh, a little bit of um, ruckus, if you will, toward the person who stole her car. You know what I'm saying? Because she's been hurt by this car thieving, and there's no reason why, um, in my mind, uh, it's justified to throw a little bit of like mental... that that person gets it, like I've done something wrong, or maybe they just ditched the car somewhere and it's found and now Cherry Chopstick can find it. Who knows? But her car's been stolen and that's not cool. So we're gonna shake up this war oil that I've made. I do believe I made a video of it on my channel. I do believe I've done a video on all my oils. <clears throat> and this war oil is hot and spicy and you do not want to touch it with your hands. And for me, since this is a war oil and not something, like, nice, I'm not going to use this because I don't want it to touch this. For this, I will reuse for road opener, anti-negativity, I use my hand. But, I mean, you don't want to mix your positive oils with your negative oils if you're using a dropper. If you have ten droppers for all your oils, that's what I suggest doing, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> so I'll just let the lid drop however many drops it's going to let. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't want to touch that oil, to be quite honest. I don't even want to, you know. I don't want any war up in here, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. I want to change my shirt. Okay, I'm going to add some black witch's salt to this now, right over the oil, so that the black witch's salt um, adheres to that oil, okay? And yes, my eyebrows are blue. I didn't dye them, I just used eyeshadow. And you know what I do? Here's a good trick for your powdered bottles that are like, have you ever tipped them over and then this big powder comes out and like hits your nose and you're like, ah! Am I um, pixelating you guys? Am I, what's the word, buffering? So I do it while the cap is on so that the powder thing happens in the jar and then you get your salt all the way up to the edge and then just kind of tap it out. That way not too much comes out. That's my method. Yep, and then it's just ready to be tapped out right there at the edge. And you need to put your intention in here for who it's for. The black salt knows what they have to do, but because it's made for one intention, really, I've got it for one intention. <clears throat> um, but you put the intention of the focus of the real working into it now as you're applying it. If you tell each end in 
individual integrate the and what to do, you're going to have a much better, stronger working, in my opinion. This black salt is for that person that stole her car. I want to add a little cinnamon to this now, and the cinnamon is to attain success in getting her car back. So cinnamon, <clears throat> I know it sounds ridiculous, cinnamon, uh, you need to work for Cherry Chapstick, our friend, if you will, on getting her car back. And cinnamon loves to work, like honestly, herbs love to do workings, they're happy about it. I feel that they have like little personalities of their own, to be quite honest, and then that sounds nuts to a lot of people, but not you guys. <coughs> but you know, when you say that to people, they're like, oh, okay, it's whatever. I always pour my cinnamon into something first. If you put it on here, you're going to ruin your candle. So pour powdered cinnamon. I couldn't find my Mexican cinnamon a jar of it for the life of me. I was just going to break a piece off of that because Mexican cinnamon sticks are great. They just have all these pieces that just break off. Whew. Cinnamon loves to work. <laughs> oh, it smells like my childhood. You know like when you make toast with butter and cinnamon and powdered sugar? Or cinnamon and sugar, not powdered sugar. That'd be gross. So just a tiny bit into my thing here. And then, I'm going to sprinkle it on the candle, on the oil places preferably, because then it won't catch on the candle and spark and burn, because that can happen, not that it will, but it can. And you probably don't want to get it on the wick. <clears throat> oh god, cinnamon loves to work. Hey, hon. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? We're doing candle workings cool. for family members. Just trying to walk around cool out. So the candle, so far, <laughs> sorry, he's hilarious, <laughs> looks like this, pretty right, mm. Mm. <clears throat> so cinnamon, you need to help Cherry Chapstick attain success in getting her car back, okay, okay, okay. Alright, so now we're going to do the clover, lemon balm, and ivy. The ivy is for binding her to her car, which was one that I just threw in. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. You're so welcome. Again, y'all, I don't ask for any money for these workings, but I do ask that you check out my Patreon uh, and at least enjoy the reading of it because I took a long time to work on it and even small tiny donations per month help. And I do believe I have it as low as a dollar per month. So that's always great. <laughs> and my Etsy page is attached below if you need personal workings for me to send you kits of workings or... Um, Workings done in private, etc., etc. So here's the ivy on the candle. <clears throat> That's to bind her to her car. Okay. 
You know what I was thinking, Cherry Chapstick? In the future, you could make, like, two tiny witches bottles and keep one with you in your purse always and one in the car. <clears throat> like, you know, um, one of these witches protection bottles where you put all these, like, bunch of kind of herbs in and stuff like this and then you seal it. You could have one in your car and then a little tiny mini one of the same exact thing in your purse, like this size. And then that way if you ever got separated from your car, or anybody could do this, then you could do a working on this little bottle to get your car back because this would be in your car. And you would want to hide it somewhere real good, like, um, because people would throw it away if they stole your car. So you'd want to hide it, like, where the, um, mm, the spare tire goes or the car fix it kit or sometimes in the trunk of the car there's hiding spots put it in there that's my advice <sighs> i've got lots of it <clears throat> good. Kind of smells like nori seaweed when you grow it. You guys smell your lemon balm. Does it to you kind of smell like nori seaweed a little bit? Mmm. Mmm. Or like a mojo pouch. You know, the same thing. You could do a little tiny pouch. One in the car, one with you. That way you could bring it back to you. I do the same thing with my cats. In their collars, you can make a collar and you can sew herbs into it. And then make a little tiny jar with herbs in it, the same exact herbs and write Otis or Bazinga or whatever your cat's name is. And then if your cat gets lost, you can work on that little bottle that has the same exact herbs sewn into his collar and draw him back to you. <clears throat> I haven't done a video on that, but it's just something that I've done. Okay, so mm, one little beautiful lemon balm leaf. Um... I'm just going to take a bit off of the edge of the leaf to put in the candle because I don't want to put too much in the candle because uh, it will catch fire. So we'll set the leaf down there with that sharp monkey puzzle tree. Again, the sharp monkey puzzle tree is the same thing like the black salt is going to be used for um, to affect the person who stole the car. And lastly, we're going to add some organic red clover flowers. Again, I've done a video on clover. And we'll just do one right in front of the candle, a teeny tiny bud. So this is what we've got for in front of the candle now. Clover, lemon balm, right? Yeah, lemon balm and the sharp monkey puzzle tree. Okay. All right, so let's get this candle lit and put our intention into it for cherry chapstick. <clears throat> Again, cherry chapstick has had her car stolen and she needs to find it and bring it back to her. All right, ready?
-hmm. All right, hon. <clears throat> I hope you get everything that you need. I hope you get your vehicle back. Um, it's so messed up when people steal from us, but I feel like when bad situations comes, it brings a better thing. Possibly you're, you know, maybe you're... Maybe it'll be stolen forever and it wasn't your favorite car and your insurance will give you a better one. I don't know. But I hope the best for you and all of us do. Alright, so, um, gosh. Been on so long. Um, hello, Marilyn. Hello, so many people that are here. Uh, okay, next we're on to Jez. Uh, we are trying to break easily break an unhealthy friendship that she needs to end, okay? And now, Jez, that's one... I think Jez is still here, right, Jez? You said you were going to be here. <clears throat> um, now, Jez, that's one that I wonder, do you want... I, I intuitively would do a white candle, because... Unless you want to banish the friendship, you know, but if you're just trying to break this person from your life, your end. So, Jez, do you want a black or a white candle for this situation? You tell me. White. Perfect. Okay. That's what I was feeling too, you know, just to like really kindly, gently do this. You know, half of this list I may have to come on later tonight and do. Once we get done with Christina Miller, after Jez, who was just diagnosed with brain cancer, um, I think perhaps, what time is it right now? Yeah. I think perhaps I need to eat my lunch and then go to the store to get my birthday cake for Scott Cunningham's birthday tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow and we all need to honor him because he's the author of this book. And, um, and then come back and do the other six, which are Moonflower would be the first one, Hadrina would be the second one, um, Michelle would be the third one. Michelle Cantrell, Michelle Noel Creations would be the fourth one, Madam Butterfly would be the fifth one, and Julie would be the sixth one. Um, cause gosh, I feel like since we're learning as we go, we're already two hours in. Okay, so let's see how far we get. So Jez, this unhealthy friendship that needs to end. Absolutely. I'm not going to put black salt on it, you know. Um... Let's just refer and get some ideas from Scotty on herbs and intentions. Okay, so let's read through the int intentions together. Page 276 and on. Astral projection, no. Beauty to attain, no. Chastity to maintain, no. Courage to attain, perhaps if she needed courage to break it. You tell me on that one, Jess. Uh, divination, no. Raising the dead, no. Employment to attain, no. Exorcism, yeah. Exorcism herbs would work really good because exorcism is just like the ending of something so that you can start anew, right? Um, just a gentle, don't poison your guard. Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to make this like a nice, gentle breakup. Yeah, Madam Butterfly, but will you be able to come back in like three hours? That's my worry is that a lot of these people won't come back. But I'll just use my intuition because I got enough information from everybody that I can do these when I come back, whether you're here or not, on, on the uh, live stream. So anyway, let me keep focusing on Jez's working. I think we should use exorcism herbs. Um... Because it's not a, an evil thing, it's just a, a done-with-it thing. Uh, 
have you and your friend ever been in love, Jess? Whether it was a friendship love or a uh, more romantic love? Because there's herbs for peace and harmony to instill, but I feel like that's not going to be strong enough. Yeah, let's do exorcism herbs, and um, there's loads. So the ones that I've got are basil, beans. I love using beans. We're going to definitely use beans. Uh, <laughs> clove, clover, cumin, dragon's blood, frankincense, fern, um, garlic, juniper, lilac, mint, mistletoe, mullein, myrrh, nettle, onion, peach, pepper, pine, rosemary, rue. We're definitely going to use rue. I just got some from a dear friend. Uh, sandalwood, thistle, Witchgrass and Yarrow. So those are just all the ones I've got from the list. There's way more on the list. Um, but Jez, you're cool with us using exorcism herbs, right? Sounds perfect. Beans are great. Okay, cool. Cumin you love too? Okay, great. Good to know. Because <coughs> if Jez personally is hot on and attached to cumin, there's no reason why that doesn't make sense for me a million miles away in the U.S. of America to use cumin on her working. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and as far as oil goes, I want to use a death oil. Now, a death oil is not a bad thing. It's just to, uh, the death of something. When you use exorcism herbs, you use death oil. In my in my cottage, that's the way we do it. Um, when I say we, it just means me, but I'm a Gemini, so I refer to myself as we a lot. Alright, so because the other oils don't make sense. I mean, the anti-negativity anti one would work, but it's, I don't feel like it's going to be strong enough for this situation. I feel like Jez has tried a few times. Obviously, if, you know, she's asking her friend. And I'm glad you asked. Because this is a thing a lot of people need to do. Like, I, and this is one that just even with this simple candle you could do night after night. Come on. Cherry chapstick, your candle is not burning too well, honey. Come on. Let's all really try and put our energy into Cherry Chapstick's car real quick. Her candle's not burning so well. The other ones are burning great. Okay, so dust oil for Jez is working. And the dust oil... <coughs> I have my own dropper for the death oil and for the um, hexing oil and all of that because they're very different particular situations. But again, this dropper that I use for positive ones, I can like share between the amethyst oil and the road opening oil and the, you know, because I get most of it out. But I'm just telling you, if you get a dropper for each one, it's the best way to go. Or if they're full enough, you could dip a toothpick or a chopstick into the oil and let it drip on the candle. But a toothpick would be better applicator because it'd be a smaller drops of oil on the tea light candle. Now if you're dressing a bigger thicker candle you know you like roll it in herbs and all that stuff but tea lights is all I can maintain at the moment. Um, so excited about that we're going to use the death oil for the candle. We've cleansed this candle with Florida water already for Jez. We're going to put some herbs back and get some new herbs. After Jez is working, we're going to do Christina Miller's working. Then we're going to take a break for about three hours and then do Moonflower's working, starting with hers and going down the list. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at.
My death oil has a big deer jawbone in it because it's a dead deer, you know, death. I did, and one of the best ways to get it out, in my opinion, is to stir it up with that bone because it's got graveyard dirt in it and other things. Stir it up with the bone and then just get a little bit off the bone with your toothpick because the bone will be soaked in oil. And then apply it to the tea light that way. And do not use reuse this chopstick or this. <clears throat> Don't reuse this little guy unless it's for death oil again. The toothpick. my hands. Uh, so that's the death oil. To get a birthday cake for Scotty in half an hour. I got a ride, so that'll be great. So let's find these herbs we're gonna do for exorcism. We've already got clover here, so let's use that. And I said we we're gonna use bean, so we're gonna use bean. It's a little clover bud for you, Jez. Yeah! Yay, cake! I'm gonna get that lemon cake again. I'm so fucking excited. Um, there. And then well, beans. What else? Ooh, lilac's a really good one. So roux, bean, we use roux and bean. Okay, so here is the roux. So pretty. And I also got a piece of deer tongue, dehydrated deer tongue. And it's massaged with rose water. Do you guys remember when I dehydrated that? Not deer tongue, cow tongue. And so this will help with their communication for her telling, like expressing to her friend, however. And then lastly, I've got a red bean. So no herbs are going to go in the oil, there's just going to be the death oil, and I've got these red scarlet beans. They're awesome. So that one will be for Jess. 
and ending this unhealthy friendship. Okay, so let's light this candle, shall we? For Jezebel Von Tex, y'all. Okay, Jez. I really felt like you and this person had some really great times together, but it was like too much, too fast, too overwhelming or something like that. I don't know. I, mean, I could be totally wrong. But we've got some beautiful little things. So fresh dried roux um, from a dear friend and family member of the taxidermy witch. Some rose massage dried deer tongue, cow tongue, uh, clover bud, and a red bean. Those are some exorcism herbs, and the cow tongue's there for communication, and uh, it has even a lovely touch to it, massage with rose water. So the last one we're doing is for Christina Miller, who just got diagnosed with brain cancer. <clears throat> Look at that, 22-22, right up there. That's pretty cool. Christina Miller, I would look up the spirit guide numbers of 2222. Because right when we said your name, that was what was up there. It was 22 people, 22 likes. Um, so maybe look at my spirit guides were telling me for have you look up the angel and spirit guide meanings of 222. Okay, so if you can and if you're still here with us. Alright, so she was just diagnosed with brain cancer. We're definitely, definitely, definitely doing a black candle. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, we'll just do that candle. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I'm so thankful that you shared with us, Christina Miller, because, um, you know, not that we don't appreciate time with each other, but it makes us definitely appreciate our time with you, uh, much, much more. Um. And, that, and that, I'm not saying that we don't all appreciate every everything, like little things, but, you know, sometimes it's really, really hard. So I'm actually going to keep one of my um, window chicken's feet that I use for protection. It's like a, a black painted chicken's paw that I made myself. Uh, and I sell these on my Etsy shop, which is attached down in the description there. Uh, and I'm going to keep this with the, the black candle. And I just really want you guys to envision when we light this, um, in a moment. Um, we're using war oil because for cancers and things like that, it's, it's like a war, you know, it's a war between the disease and the person. It's a war of spirit and, and mentality. And I'm not a doctor. I'm just a dear friend who's here with you guys. Hey Dustin, welcome. So nice to see you. Um, oh, Uncle Badger's here. I'm sorry. I'm. Um, no, I'm not gonna start crying. I'm feeling really um, like like by her telling us that she just got diagnosed with brain cancer. That our presence as a family will really. Um, yeah, just start crying. Be something for her to enjoy. Yeah, oh my goodness. 
Padrina, don't forget that you're second on the list when I come back after we go to get Scott Cunningham's birthday cake, but I do have to get to the store by a certain time. And we've been on for, yeah, two hours. Yes, Jen, I'm here now. Well, Thomas, make sure in three hours you're, you're able to come back and be with us, and we have six more people on the list to do candle lightings for. And we lit all of these lovely candles. Yeah, we really need to put some energy into Cherry Chapstick's stolen car. That candle is not doing super well. All right, uh, brain cancer. So I'm gonna use the war oil because it's a war between the person and the disease. I'm not a doctor. Sad I have to say that. Again, there's my war oil. We used it once before today. And the way that I get it off and onto the candle is I take the cork off and then I use the drippings from the top of the cork because I just shook it up, right? So boom, boom. Four drops there and uh, you know you could use death oil if that's all you had if you didn't make a war oil that was just some war oil was um, one of the only ones where I wasn't inspired by tequila um, before I made my oil because I think all the rest of them are inspired by lady grave dancers oils I think my I don't I think my astral oil I made on my own I can't remember but I just fell in love with her oil videos and I was just so inspired. And after I made my oils, you know, three years ago, I just started to really get into candle workings and candle magic and really amping them up with stuff. So I want to get some rue for this. It's an exorcism herb. Um, so what other herbs, magical intentions would be good for this brain cancer? You know, and you could do another aspect of this. You could do one aspect of like we have a war with the with the cancer, okay? But you could do some other aspects where you could put some exorcism herbs into, and this is one of my favorite things to do, and I do a lot on Etsy working. You put exorcism herbs for the brain. She just found out she had brain cancer, right? So inside of here, you can fill this whole thing with exorcism herbs for the brain, and then you can um, seal it off and burn candles over it all the time. So this candle keeps burning over the intention of, of the brain in these exorcism herbs inside of it <clears throat> because you're trying to exorcise the cancer from the body and the brain's that area. If it was skin cancer, you could use any part of a porcelain doll and just put it on the skin you know, outside of it and say skin. Healing, courage, peace, endurance, all would be good for fighting cancer. Absolutely, Sherry Bug D. That's, that's absolutely right. So I'm just going to set this little dolly head beside the, this is the working that we're doing right here for the, um, she just found out she had brain cancer. Here's the black chicken's foot. Here's the candle we'll be lighting. And then I'm just going to have this head here to represent that that brain okay um, just to represent that uh, because it helps me and whatever helps me when I'm sitting here pushing an intent into it is gonna help I really need a hand tattoo look at all those that's gross um, will help the rest of this working so let's get going with this and rue I'm gonna use rue I'm gonna use For, rue for exorcism I'm going to use oh see we could use a bunch of protection herbs you could put protection herbs inside the head as well to protect from the cancer you know what I'm saying so let's grab some cedar for protection okay and rue for exorcism
So here's some of that rue. So beautiful. Bye, Marilyn. So nice for you to join us. Oh, that's so funny, Sherry Bug. I grabbed cedar, and she said cedar was good. Um, I grabbed cedar because that's a... Uh, Yeah, good one for protection. Okay, so I'll show you the candle before I light it. These war oils and death oils, you do not want to get on your hands, you guys. What would a good stone be to put next to this, you guys? I'm not a stone witch. What do you guys think? I don't have time to look in one of my books. I could easily do that. But what do you guys think? Here's the ruined cedar and war oil on this black candle. Petalite, I don't have that. Flint, I don't have that. I mean, I could do... Let's do a clear quartz because it's all purpose. That's what I would use if I was alone and I didn't have you guys. So I'm going to do a clear quartz because it's just for all purpose. And I'm going to put the chicken's foot toward the quartz toward the candle, okay? Because I want that chicken foot energy to be drawn into the candle. And this is a quartz point, okay? So I'm going to point that energy that way, okay? And then put the brain here. So it's like a big boom. You see how that goes? Whoop. Okay, let's take a look at all the rest of the candles, you guys, so you know what they look like as they're going. They look great. We use the poppet arm up here, use the stones, sharp leaves, separated the black. Banishing candle. There we go. All right. So here's what this one looks like. See how that goes. All right, let's do this, you guys. We're putting our energy together for Christina Miller, who was just diagnosed with brain cancer, okay? This candle does not want to burn. There we go. Do you see? That candle did not want to burn, and it was like... Tch -tch. That's your energy, you guys. It's amazing. Let's start over. That was insane. It scared me. All right. For Christina Miller, who was just diagnosed with brain cancer.
All right, you guys. Wow, that's some heavy stuff. Thank you so much for um, putting your energy into those workings with me. Um, again, I'm, you know, not asking for any money for the workings, but I do ask that everybody take a peek at my Patreon that's in the description. And uh, my Etsy page that's in the description. And let me know if you need anything uh, working-wise. <coughs> Everybody, you're so welcome. I'm just taking a three-hour break. And then I'm coming back for number one on the list is Moonflower, who needs a kid's kidney transplant. Hadrina, who needs um, healing for your foot. Is that is that right? Healing for your foot. Michelle Cantrell, who has back pain. Michelle Noel Creations as having a procedure for a friend Friday. She's having spine pain shots. Madam Butterfly, uh, who is tomorrow morning having a scan on the left breast. And Julia, whose son has autism and needs speech therapy. So we are gonna come back this evening uh, and just uh, start where we left mm -hmm. off, basically, in about three hours. I'm going out to get a birthday cake for Scott Cunningham, who died in, I believe, 1993. Um, but it is his birthday tomorrow, June 27th, and he's my guy. He's my guy. Um, he's all of our guys. He helps us out so much in all of these workings. God bless his soul. And uh, we're going to read from this book, and I will probably wear no makeup. <laughs> or no eye makeup or something, because it's going to be a really hard one. For me to read from because I'm just so for whatever reason crazily attached to this beautiful soul so all right everybody have a beautiful day we'll see you in about three hours thanks for putting your energy this way I really really am grateful bye, -bye.